All right, here's the heavyweight wrestler Curtis Razor Blades representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists, and at times you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big, he's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway on one side. You have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true Rattler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most special type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the out. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up?
beautiful leg kick thrown. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. And he landed the right hand there. gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man. That's it. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after this hit. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your body. Ooh. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Big head kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Lee's head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Nice crease punch. Not there. Right on the button. I mean, he's cutting down the side with his beautiful leg. Kick. Back and forth we go. Blades, his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. He lost that. Listen to me. He lost that. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Unable to connect with the right. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Curtis Blades. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Good punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Blades has got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Attempts the front kick there. Switching stances here. Beautiful body kick land right on the Back and forth we go. Take him down. Trying to kick the leg out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Liver kick. Just missed with the left there. Big leg kick land. Ooh, big shot land. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big body kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Beautiful body kick. Nice. That was a thudding leg kick. Blades' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice leg kick. 20 seconds left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. He's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. What a round! Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big kick. Just misses there with the left. Both fighters throwing heat now. Leg kick. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Caught that kick there. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. That was Nice strike. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Nice leg kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. He loaded up there on that high kick. off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach and he put it to good use there and both fighters exchange in the pocket caught that no there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick here comes the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble beautiful kick caught the kick Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. He blocks the shot. Going orthodox now. Blades gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Punch over the top. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keep his opponent back. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Beautiful punch. Blades his right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. How about that shin? just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at the whip action that comes from him for that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Still nice body kick lands. 
off. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that white punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Okay, okay, okay. Our takedowns are not working now. Okay, but we are not giving up. We are sticking. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'll tell you, man. You get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Big kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one is blocked, though, by place. Way to hide that leg kick. What a punch. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much more. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shins into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Ooh, what a punch. They continue to exchange. There's no tell on that leg kick. Over and over, fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Landed that left hook. You got to check these low leg kicks. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Man, the body work's really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice head kick. Big leg kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. It's such a fast leg kick. Blades his kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Big kick land. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. There's no give on that leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Hook to the head there by Blades. Another leg kick lands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. He 
just got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Blades gets hit by that kick to the body. Checks the leg kick. Good punch lands. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Visibly limping here. Dig and kick. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round had been confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. Nice body right under the elbow. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. You got the turtle in that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Blades is a strike attempt there is blocked. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Good stick. Beautiful hit. Kick. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Big kick lands. Well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take a swing. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Beautiful strike. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find it. Oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, is that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. Oh, that's a nice strike. Right. Hands higher, Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Right punches there.
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Straight punch landed with so much power. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Can't take many of those, you better check. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Changes his stance. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 48 27 for the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon Lee all right congratulations to him he is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight.